Hi, good morning, happy holidays, cha cha cha. So, um, I've been missing in action, I know, I'm sorry. You know, with Thanksgiving and everything, I just really got so busy and my son was home and was trying to do all the stuff. I cooked for three days, you guys. I mean, three days I cooked. Um, I had to work Thanksgiving Day in the morning and I had that weekend off. So, um, I mean, I, I spent a lot of time in the kitchen and I made most of my um, traditional stuff. Um, I did something different to my turkey this year, which I would recommend. Um, I bought a butterball turkey, and it was a pretty good size one. I don't usually go too big because it's just the three of us. But this year, I went nuts, and I bought an 18 and a half pound turkey. Um, anyway, it didn't have a timer in it, so that was okay. I brined it. And I took a small cooler that it would fit in, ice chest, and I um, mixed the brine um, just with just enough water to cover the turkey and two cups of kosher salt, dissolved that real well, and then um, some poultry seasoning, and I had this um, chicken rub that I had, and I just dumped that in the water, just, you know, mixed it all up in there. And put the rinse the turkey, took the giblets out, and um, put it in there, and left it to brine for about 24 hours. And um, then the next day, I just put it in the roasting pan, um, stuffed it with my usual stuffing, and um, I turned it upside down, and I cooked it upside down this time with the white meat down. And then about an hour before it was ready, I flipped it back over to brown the top. And I will tell you what, I got so much juice out of this turkey, but it wasn't dry and there was like no fat. I didn't even have to baste this turkey, you guys. It was crazy. I used that smart, um, smart balance or something like that, that Fleshman's spray butter. And I just squirted that on the turkey before I put it in the oven. I didn't do anything else to it. And it was the most moist turkey I have ever cooked in my life. And um, the gravy that I made, there was like literally no fat in it. There's no, There was no fat floating. It was just crazy. Um, usually, you know, you have all that grease and everything. Nothing. No grease out of this turkey. It was awesome. So, yeah, that was my turkey, and then I made a lot of things that were um, my traditional things, but I made them on a low-cal side. Um, I made some fresh sweet potato yams with um, just some Splenda. I sliced them and kind of zapped them in the microwave a little bit, and then um, layered them and sprinkled them with some cinnamon and... Splenda and um, a little dabs of um, butter, and just roasted them, you know, cooked them along in there with the turkey and stuff. And um, my son always makes the mashed potatoes, so of course, I didn't really indulge a whole lot on mashed potatoes. I had just a little bit, but I was good. And um, the good news is, I lost. I lost weight, so it's no big deal. Um, so yeah, I will get back to, oh, and I made my cranberries with Splenda too, so that was okay. My husband didn't even say anything about Splenda and the cranberries, because he is a big cranberry guy. So, it was a wonderful day, very relaxing. We got the Christmas tree out and in the stand and everything, but... Um, with all the busyness, and my son was leaving Sunday morning, we really only had Saturday to just hang. And by the time I got up and did some errands and we had to put tires on his car and all this kind of stuff while he was home, we didn't get the tree decorated. And so um, we just kind of hung and watched TV and stuff on Saturday. It was really nice anyway. So my tree is up. And he went back to school. 
And normally we all do, you know, decorate it together. So what I'm going to do is get the lights on and um, get all my, you know, regular ornaments on it. Because I usually do the lights and the beads and all that kind of stuff anyway. And then we all, you know, hang the ornaments together. So I'm just going to wait till he comes home in a couple weeks. And we'll put the remaining individual bulbs on it together that we each receive every year. So we'll still stick to some of my tradition, but that's okay. It's no big deal. Um, it's the earliest I've ever had my tree up anyway, so it's still exciting. And I am really in the spirit of it. Um, I've just been in this real cooking mood, and I made the most awesome beef vegetable soup yesterday you can't even believe and talk about protein we put um, a chuck roast a lean chuck roast cut it up into small bite sized pieces and I mean it was a nice sized chuck roast cut that up took a rump roast and slice that up into little bite-sized bite pieces and a pack of boneless skinless chicken thighs and cut that up in the, for the meat for the protein and then we dumped um, it made a very good stock and we used vegetable juice V8 juice and some uh, beef broth and onions, garlic, and we put every vegetable you can imagine in it, you guys. <clears throat> we put a carrots, celery, um, a bag, two different kinds of corn, white corn, yellow corn, uh, green beans, peas, lima beans, kidney beans. I'm telling you what, you can eat this soup. It's actually stoop. Um, with a fork. I mean, it is just full of uh, goodness and just awesome. And then we also um, uh, browned bones. You know, you always got to have bones. So first, you start with bones for the soup, the stoop. So yeah, this is my this is me just jibber jabbering about cooking, but um, just you know, winter's here and I'm in the mood for lots of soup. The meet and greet was absolutely the most fun I've had in a long time and has really boosted my motivation in my weight loss journey here and I can't tell you how much you guys mean to me and how my morale has just, you know, gone up. It's it's amazing. But last but not least, I'm here to give you my week 26 update. And as of two days ago, I am now officially six months out. So in six months, I have lost 66 pounds since my surgery and a total of 84 pounds. Um, and I'm, I'm not too upset about that. I think it's great. I'm right on target and um, I'm, I'm excited. This week I have lost two pounds and I think I'm out of my little plateau that I was on last month. Um, I understand that around the fifth and sixth month there is a plateau period and um, I'm glad it wasn't just me. But anyway, I'm going to have to make another video. I've just got all kinds of things to talk about because I miss you guys. So it's really good to see you. I've been trying to catch up on my videos. Thanks to all my new subscribers. And I will talk to you guys in a, soon. I just got to get going. Got to get busy. Got to get that tree. Got to go to curves. Got to do the treadmill. And get lots done before my husband gets home because I can't get anything done with him in the house. Love you. Bye.